Okay. <coughs> 下吧，下吧，下吧，下吧。Who's it, Jutia? Keep down. Af. 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 Unsubscribe? I was like at 4303 and now I'm at like 4299. Who the fuck unsubscribes to my channel? Are you recording this? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> anyway, actually, you know what? Thank you for like 4,000 subscribers, guys. Or actually 43 or 4299 now. Um, it's awesome to have all you guys watching this channel. And I didn't think that at this soon I would be at 4,000 subs. I think I made this channel like five months ago. So, I mean, it's growing and that's all because of you guys. So. I'm gonna take my measurements right now. I have the tracking sheet right here. Now, usually when I have it, people take measurements, um, I ask them to try and maybe take two or three measurements at the same spot and take the average. Not everyone does that, but that's okay. Uh, so I'm gonna be doing the chest, right arm, left arm, all the other stuff that's on the sheet. I'm gonna be entering it. So for chest, I'm gonna to have to edit this because there are gonna be moments where I fuck up, but my chest right now, right at the nips. Oh, that looks weird. Okay, right at the nips. We are at around 45 point, 45.6 inches. Hopefully I remember these numbers. Actually, I can just do the recording. The right arm. Take this around. And just so you know, guys, the tape I'm using is called Myo Tape. If you do want to take measurements for yourself, I highly suggest you get it because it will give you the most accurate measurements. It won't be as uh, irregular as measuring tape and it's easy to do on your own. You can notice I am having some issues right now, um, but picture how much harder this would be if I were using your typical measuring tape. It would be, uh, it would be horrible. So, Biceps, let's tighten this up because I'm not trying to cheat. Biceps are at around, what is that, 18.4? I really can't tell. I think that's around 18.4, 18.5. That's my right arm. Left bicep. Wait. Ah, there you are. Ah. 
And if you guys have looked up the tracking sheet that I shared with you, which is my own tracker, because like I said, I'm gonna, I want you guys to keep me accountable. Um, you'll see that my end of year goal is to be around 270 to 275, anywhere between that range, but at a decent body composition. So as you'll notice, as the months go by, I'm not gonna be rushing for the weight, um, but I'm gonna be rushing, I'm just gonna be trying to get to that goal by the end of the year. Left bicep, also around 18.4, 18.5. Two inches above the belly button. Got like, okay, here we go. So that is, it's just keep it totally exactly flat. Just a little bit above. Yeah, so just a little bit above 36. Then at the belly button. And I have these different points measured because with all the clients that I've worked with, um, I've noticed that there are different rates of body fat loss at these different parts of the belly. So that's why we measure three points at the belly button. Now we are here right at the belly. We are at, oh my gosh, come on, man, come on. Okay, 36. Yep, 36. Two inches below. And we are at thirty five, thirty five point six to thirty five point seven. Yeah, thirty five points actually. So thirty five point eight. You recording? Are you on my dick level? Well, where am I supposed to be? I'm oh, so you're okay. gonna be recording your hips. All right, I'm starting now. Okay, guys. So I mean, I, I think my camera overheated, so I had to redo this. Anyway, like I was saying before, I have a massive badonkadonk. So, wieners. Um, the biggest part of my butt. I'm around. Let's see, is that really the biggest part? Good. I'm around 44.5, or actually, yeah, 44.2 or 44.3. Now, in terms of my quads, <clears throat> some people will flex them. I tend to just flex it totally just because it gives me a more accurate measurement every time. So I flex at the largest part of my quad, totally locked out, and Given that it is, right quad is pretty much exactly 29 inches. If we hold it in a little bit, yeah, 29 inches. <clears throat> then fully locked out left quad. It actually kind of hurts to lock out my quad right now because I just had a little bit of a knee injury the other day at BJJ. It's kind of shitty, but. Left quad is also, oh around and these are the things that happen this, this is probably why people don't like taking measurements because sometimes it's a tedious process but when you do it enough it's easy around almost exactly 29 inches for the left quad also so yeah those are all my measurements guys um, and what I'm gonna do I suggest that if you're bulking probably do taking measurements every two weeks would be better for you just because it's not like cutting where you'll see probably differences every week at certain areas. Um, when you're bulking, you don't expect to see massive changes every single day of the week. So I'm gonna make updates to my sheet for bulking every two weeks, and you'll be able to see my macros every day that I hit. Whenever I make macronutrient changes, you will see it on this sheet. And yeah, that's it. This is Nsima the Centaur Eang from Break the Bar. Again, thank you for all the new subscribers that like this channel. So if you like this video, go and like this video. Comment, like, subscribe down below. Ask questions if you have any. Be an anomaly, and I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Come here. Eh, the dog doesn't want to be in this. Actually, there we go.